What's going on, y'all? You're tuning into another exciting episode of Mario Ramon LA. And today is our third recap of I Dream of Nini, uh, Patching the Leaks. And this episode was actually pretty entertaining for me. Uh, it was really good. They invited, they meaning Greg and Nini, invited Greg's children from his previous marriage and to come and discuss some family issues and why they feel that it's not like a strong family bond between, you know, Nini and Greg's children from his previous marriage. And um, Damien, who's one of Greg's ch um, sons, feel, feels some kind of way about the whole thing. And I'm glad that they're talking about it and that Greg and Nini aren't just in Hollywood and not, you know, reaching out to the rest of the family and things like that. Um, they got a lot out, you know, they brought the family counselor in, which I think is phenomenal. And um, the star of that conversation was actually K Katrina, Greg's daughter. Uh, she just manned up, if you will. She told Greg exactly how she felt. She wasn't crying and shit. You love us. And I, I just... <laughs> no, Katrina looked him in his eyes. She was like, I didn't want no money. I wanted my dad. I want. I wanted you to ask me about who am I dating. That dress is too short. Those shorts are too short. I needed guidance, you know. And I love Greg for just looking at her and saying, you know what? I accept that. You know, I I wasn't there. You know, but I was there financially. And, and most dads, you know, some not most, but there are some dads who aren't there physically or financially. So at least Greg was present in one aspect of it. You know, it wasn't like he just left his family on the side of the road dead. You know, they can come to him and say, hey, dad, we need X, Y, Z. And he would help them, you know. So kudos to you, Greg, for doing that. And I better be nice to Greg, you know, because he and Nini are cut from the same cloth. Did you see how he uh, cut that? That family counselor on that episode, when he was like, we ain't discussing it. And Nene turned into a little teddy bear. I've never seen her back down. Greg is the truth, okay? He is a player from the Himalayas. I've been saying that for a long time, okay? So, in this third episode, Nene was actually, actually looking for a venue for her wedding and reception. And she, she was looking for a dress with her bridesmaids and things like that. But let's get back to this venue. Mar Marcella or Marcella, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, you know, because I have to commit these names to memory and things, but Mar Marcella, uh, we loved her, but she, she can comb her hair. If you're going to be on TV, comb your hair, boo. I mean, get your hair done, okay? You know, your hair. But anyway, loved her, but get your hair done. I, I mean, she's a sweetheart. You know, so um, two of her bridesmaids came to look at the venue with Nene and the wedding planner. Now, let's get on this wedding planner. That wedding planner has a lot to be desired, in my opinion. That's my opinion. She was writing on that little yellow tablet. Boo, if you don't get you a digital something, so it was just all wrong to me. I mean, she got a, a nice venue, but you don't do business on a yellow pad anymore. That's like having a pager. and You, you don't tell a motherfucker page you these days. It's 2013, about to be 14. Use that yellow pad for firewood, boo. We won't see that no more. And Nene and the wedding planner, you could tell they just don't like each other. They don't like each other. It's it, it, They're clashing like tennis shoes and a wedding gown. They don't like each other. Nene's looking at her, and she's like, bitch, I ain't going to pay you for none of this. I'm not about to pay you for this shit. And they, they showed a clip of what's going to happen next week, and Nene was like, why did I hire you? Oh, yeah, the other two wedding planners were busy. Cut slash read to the 10th power. Nene read her for filth. And she is reading her for filth. Silence is golden. Nene is so silent. And she was like, but yeah, when, when are you going to do what me and Greg asked you to do? And the wedding planner's like, will you let me do my job? And Nene like, will you let me hire you so I can tell you my dream of this wedding? This is called I Dream of Nene, not I Dream of to be a wedding planner. Okay, so let's get to when Nene took all the bridesmaids to LA. Did they get Hollywood and Mr. Charles? They got so Hollywood. Now, I would say that was bad, you know, that all the little brown girls went there in Beverly Hills and did that. But the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills do it too. 
oh honey, they will cut you, and pull your wig off, push you in the pool. So when when the brown girls do it, I don't need y'all to just jump on their back like, oh my God, they're so hood. Because the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills are doing it too. Gonna sit down on it. Now, the strife came between Marlo and Diana. Oh, is this a good fight? This is a good fight because you know Diana is pretty talkative. In fact, I remember um, having a little run-in with Diana myself at the Nisi Nash party. And Nene, if you're watching it, you know you might have paid attention because you guys were filming. I think it was you, Sheree, and um, Lisa Wu. You guys were filming. And uh, we were in the corner and Diana, she, she asked me to move or something like that. And I'd already had two cocktails. I was like, oh, I will pull up my damn case switchblade and cut your ass, bitch. Okay, I'm not the one. I'm not Marlo. You and I will be out in the Bentley twerking. All right, bitch. But anyway, Diana, she's just not my favorite. I will say it. I'll, I'll scream it. I'll sing it. But I do love that damn Marlo. That Marlo is fierce. I don't care what y'all say. Marlo is fierce. And Nene did pull her file out the cabinet and she read it. She said, ooh, that is Marlo's type. Um, old, white, and bald. And don't forget rich. Oh, Marlo, she would piss in a cup and throw it on you if you wouldn't, you ain't had no Ted Turner money. She does hang with some ballers, okay? So we do love Mar Marlo in that aspect. And I do think that Marlo is a good friend, and I do think that all of the people are opportunists, I mean, opportunists and, and including Nene. I mean, it, it's not bad being an opportunist. It's just getting to the next level. I don't have time to fraternize with somebody who can't help me get to the damn next level, and that's not an opportunist. That's smart up here okay so we do love that and we have watched Nene she has taught us how to Dougie she is the reality show Harriet Tubman she's trying to show us how to do it don't just get on a reality show and pull somebody's wig on peach tree and don't do nothing hey charade but anyway Nene is you know she's she's doing it she has her shoe line she has a piece of place she has uh, Nene Leaks Entertainment and she is teaching us how to Dougie we love that okay what else are we going to talk about we're going to talk about um Da, 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 da. Oh, Laura. I do love Nene's friend, Laura, in L.A. She's the fierce bride made to me. Did you see that dress Laura came in and it was just in the wind? That, that dress was in the wind and she was like, hey. I mean, she just reeks of L.A. She's fierce, she's fierce, she's fierce. And we do love her. Um, I, I love how Nene is so damn real. When um, when her really good Judy with the freeze curls, I haven't seen freeze curls in 400 years, but she did have a freeze curls. But uh, Nene's Judy with the freeze curls, she was like, you know, we always love Greg. And Nene said, bitch, no, you didn't. Because when I was going through a divorce, y'all was ready to burn Greg like a witch in the um, 1920s. Okay, Nene will pull your file out the cabinet. Okay, we love her for doing that. We do love her for doing that. Now, listen, you tell me your favorite scene from uh, I Dream of Nene, the third episode. Definitely tell me your favorite scene. Tell me your favorite bridesmaid. Tell me if you like the show. Tell me if you don't like the show. All right, comment. Definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, find me on Instagram and Twitter. I say it like Oprah. Don't you hate the way Oprah say Twitter? Now, I love Oprah, but I hate the way she says Twitter. The freak is Twitter. But anyway, follow me on Twitter, uh, Mario Ramon LA. And I will see you guys next week on Mario Ramon LA. I love you and peace be to you.